Ogwardient, Wikipedia article audio. Ogwardient, Basque, Pater, Catalan, Aguardent, Galician, Agadente, Portuguese, Ogwardent, is a generic term for alcoholic beverages that contain between 29% and 60% alcohol by volume. The word is a compound of the Romance language's words for water and fiery, similarly to the English term fire water. Both Ogwardient and brandy from the Dutch expression for burnt wine originated as terms for distilled spirits using whatever ingredients were available locally. Ogwardients are strong alcoholic beverages, obtained by fermentation and later distillation of sugared or sweet musts, vegetable macerations, or mixtures of the two. This is the most generic level, by this definition, Ogwardients may be made from a number of different sources. Fruit-based Ogwardients include those made from oranges, grapes, bananas, or madrinho. Grain-based ones may be made from millet, barley, or rice and tuber-based Ogwardients from beet, manioc, or potato, and finally what are classed as true Ogwardients from sugarcane and other sweet canes including some species of bamboo. Under this definition, many other distinct liquors could be called Ogwardients, including vodka, shaku, pisco, and certain forms of hard chicha. Definition Regional Variations According to Spanish and Portuguese versions of European Union spirits regulations, Ogwardient and Ogwardent are generic Spanish and Portuguese terms, respectively, for some of the distilled spirits that are fermented and distilled exclusively from their specified raw materials, contain no added alcohol or flavoring substances, and if sweetened, only to round off the final taste of the product. However, Ogwardient and Ogwardent are not legal denominations on their own. Instead, different categories of Ogwardients are established according to raw materials. In the Spanish version, wine spirit is Ogwardient de vino, fruit spirit is Ogwardient de fruta, grain spirit is Ogwardient de cereals, etc. Many Ogwardens have a protected designation of origin, for example, Ogwardent de Vinhodoru, Ogwardent Bagasira Bayrata, Ogwardent de Pera de Lausa, Ogwardient de Sidra de Asturias or Ogwardient de Hierbas de Galicia. On November 14, 1996, an analysis concluded that Cane Ogwardient and Kashika are similar, but distinct products. Brazil thereafter defined cane aguardiente as an alcoholic beverage of between 38% and 54% alcohol by volume, obtained by simple fermentation and distillation of sugarcane that has already been used in sugar production, and that has a distinct flavor similar to rum. Cachaca, on the other hand, is an alcoholic beverage of between 38% and 48% alcohol by volume, obtained by fermenting and distilling sugarcane juice, and may have added sugar up to 6 g l. Some drinks named Ogwardient or similar are of different origin, other drinks with the same origin may have different names. In Brazil, a beverage known as Cachaca or Pinga, considered distinct from traditional Ogwardient, is made from sugar cane. Cachaca, a type of rum, has two varieties, unaged and aged. White Cachaca is usually bottled immediately after distillation and tends to be cheaper. It is often used to prepare caperinha and other beverages in which Cachaca is an ingredient. Dark Cachaca usually seen as the premium variety, is aged in wood barrels, and is meant to be drunk neat. Traditionally, no herbs are used to flavor the cashica, and its flavor is influenced by the fermentation agent, time spent in the cask, 
or type of wood from which the barrel is made. In Colombia, Aguardiente is an anise-flavored liqueur derived from sugar cane, popular in the Andean region. Each department of Colombia holds the rights to produce it, but Aguardiente produced in one region can be sold in another. By adding different amounts of aniseed, different flavors are obtained, leading to extensive marketing and fierce competition between brands. Aguardiente has 24% 29% alcohol content. Other anise flavored liqueurs similar to Aguardiente, but with a lower alcohol content, are also sold. Aguardiente has maintained, since the Spanish era, the status of the most popular alcoholic beverage in the Andean regions of Colombia, with the notable exception of the Caribbean region where rum is most popular. In general, Aguardiente is rarely drunk in cocktails, and usually drunk neat. Brazil In Costa Rica, Aguardiente is known as Guaro. In this form it has 30% alcohol and has a neutral flavor. Guaro is tightly controlled by the Costa Rican government to help prevent clandestine production. In Chile, Aguardiente is an alcoholic beverage of 45% and higher alcohol content by volume. It is made, like Italian grappa, by distilling the grape residue, primarily the skins and pulp plus the stems and seeds, left over from winemaking after pressing the grapes. It is used to make several other flavored liquors such as the Mertadu or in Mertilado, the Inguindado, and Liquor de Oro. Dried mint, peeled walnuts, almonds, and other aromatic herbs are also used to flavor the Aguardient. It is mainly consumed by itself, or as a base to make cola de mano. Colombia In Ecuador, Aguardient is also derived from sugar cane, but unlike Colombia, it is left largely unflavored. It is then taken straight as shots, mulled with cinnamon and fruit juices to make the hot cocktail cane lazo, or mixed with the juice of agave masts and grenadine syrup for the hot cocktail draquita. Locally or artisanally made aguardiente is commonly called punta, puro, or trago, and alcohol content can vary widely from mild puntas of about 10% to strong of about 40% or higher. The traditional distillation process produces aguardiente as strong as 60 g l. Every Ecuadorian province has a slightly different flavor to the aguardiente produced there, and equally each province has a different recipe for cane lazo. In Ecuador, Aguardiente is the most commonly consumed strong alcohol. Aguardiente Astillero is one of the newest brands, which is becoming very popular due to its symbolic title especially around Guayas. In Haiti, a beverage known as Clarin, which is made from sugarcane. Clarin is clear, but it is often combined with fruits or roots to create something called Clarin Tramp. In Mexico, Aguardiente goes by many names, including habanero. In the state of Michoacán, Charanda is a traditional rum-like sugar cane Aguardiente. Costa Rica Portuguese Aguardiente has several varieties. Aguardiente vinica is distilled from wine, either of good quality or undrinkable wines. It is mostly used to fortify wines such as port, or aged to make Aguardent Velha, a kind of brandy. Aguardent Bagasira is made from pomace as a way to prevent waste after the wine season. It is usually bootlegged, as most drinkers only appreciate it in its traditional 50% to 80% ABV. A common way to drink it is as a liqueur coffee made with espresso coffee. This is called Café Com Chiron Ho. Chile In the Azores, 
This espresso aguardent combination is commonly referred to as Café Com Musica. Aguardent Madranjo is a variety distilled from the fruit of the Arbutus undo tree. Ecuador In Madeira, it is the core ingredient for the poncha. There is a festival based on this drink. Most of the aguardent from the region is made from sugar cane. In the Sardinian language the word for aguardiente is abardent. It is also known as aquavit de vinaxia in Italian as it is made from vinaxia, or grape pomace, and as such is often considered a type of grappa. It is also known by the Sardinian phrase filo e ferru meaning iron wire, as an iron wire was often used in decades past as a way to mark buried caches of the liquor that had been produced clandestinely. It comes in different grades from 40 to 60 percent alcohol. Haiti In certain areas of the Pyrenees in Catalonia aguardient, known locally as aguardent, is used as an essential ingredient in the preparation of tupi, a type of cheese. Galicia, the northwestern region of Spain, is renowned for its quality and variety of aguardientes. Probably the most famous type is Agadente de Bagazo, which is obtained from the distillation of the pomace of grapes, and is clear and colorless. It typically contains over 50% alcohol, sometimes significantly more, and is still made traditionally in many villages across Galicia today. Agadente de Herbas, usually yellow in color, is a sweet liqueur made with agadente de bagazo and herbs, with chamomile being a substantial ingredient. Liquor Café, black in color, is a sweet liqueur made with agadente de bagazo, coffee, and sugar. Cremata agadente or cremata cana is a cream liqueur based on agadente, coffee, cream, milk, and other ingredients. It is similar to Irish cream liqueur. In some places in Galicia, a small glass is traditionally taken at breakfast time as a tonic before a hard day's work on the land. The word orijo is actually Spanish and not Galician, but is used to distinguish Galician and some Spanish agadentes from those of other countries. During the Mission and Rancho periods of California history, aguardiente was made out of Mission grapes. It was popular during the gold rush of 1849. Mexico Portugal Sardinia Spain United States